Well, one miracle I forgot to mention, and uh, he just brought it up, actually. I was on the top of Schneebly Hill when I first came out west here. There was a place there for sale, <clears throat> top of Schneebly Hill, and uh, 90 acres for sale, and uh, I think there was a lake and all, and some buildings. Anyway, I looked at it several times, and uh, uh, one night, one night I, I had a dream of snep stepping over a serpent. Uh, that was several months prior. Anyway, I was at the top of Schneble Hill, and I'm looking through these buildings, and there's nobody up there. I mean, there's 90 acres of nobody, and <laughs> just a couple of buildings. And as I, as I stepped uh, over a step, uh, there was a huge rattlesnake. I mean, a big, great big rattlesnake. And he's pulled back, and he's ready to strike. In that instant, I surrendered to God, like in an instant. In a state of profound peace, the state of peace is enormously powerful, enormously soft, and enormously powerful. Time stopped. Time stopped. The snake was totally suspended by the energy. And I was suspended. We were both outside of time. In clock time, we looked at each other. I'd never seen a rattlesnake before. And he'd never seen a human being. So we like, looked into each other's souls and felt completely safe with each other. It's because we were both suspended by this infinite power of peace, prevailing peace. This lasted for minutes. Minutes, two of us suspended in time in complete and utter safety with each other. And I was taking in the beingness of the snake and he was taking in the beingness of this human. He'd never seen a human before. And this went on for a considerable length of time. This enormous state of peace and safety, absolute safety. And then the snake was satisfied and he, and he went away and shook his little tail as he went away. And, and it's like you had the, the camera on stop and then somebody pushed the start button and then life sort of started again. <laughs> yeah, that was an interesting experience. I never calibrated it, let me see. The field that surrounded us was over 600, 700, 610. It was exactly 600. Okay, so it's like when I was sitting on the rock one time, yes. The, the state of 600. Anyway, that was a very interesting experience because uh, we're just corroborating the experiential reality of the miraculous, you know. And as we, if we all started joining in experiences now and uh, did a workshop on it, uh, all we would recall all kinds of events that when you realize what it was, it was actually the miraculous. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, the snake didn't change his mind, and neither did I, so that's why we both lived to tell the tale. <laughs> yeah, I also saw that an instant of fear, one instant of fear would have cost me our life. He would have struck just like that. He would have sensed one flicker of fear. And uh, so the presence of God prevailed as uh, the infinite peace. Uh,